So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're going, I'm gonna travel back. I'm gonna make my way onto my workspace and I'll have you do the same. We're gonna start lying on our back to begin class. So taking a moment on your back to find any um, position that's most comfortable for you. Sorry, my contact is up, out of whack again. So that could be that your legs are fully extended here on the floor. Or maybe your knees are bent, feet are grounded. Option for a hip opener, soles of feet together, knees splaying out. But finding a space here where you can allow your body to really ground and settle and land. Right, arrive on your mat, both physically as well as mentally. Wherever your arms may be here, just turn the palms to face up. Let the shoulders roll open. Feeling this broadening across your chest. Elongating the body by reaching the crown of your head to the back of your workspace. Chin landing just about fist distance from your chest. Close the eyes. Take yourself a little bit more inward. Begin then to bring attention towards your breath. Start to just notice your inhales and your exhales. And just start to feel the way in which the breath moves in and out of your body. Maybe you start to find a rhythm to your breath. You start to smooth it out. Notice its quality. The way it may sound or how the breath subtly moves your body. Maybe it's just a little rise and fall of belly or chest. So the subtleties of our breath that we don't often pay attention to, you bring focus to it here now. That can curate mindfulness, right? Being aware of, present to. And when we do this, we can then really bring some depth and quality to our breathing. So start to slow your breath down. Take longer, deeper inhales and really slow, steady exhales. Make sure that you empty out completely. As you breathe in, start it low in belly. Let it fill to ribs and come all the way up into chest. And then as you exhale, releasing from chest down through the ribs and that final squeeze all the way to the bottom through lower belly. Then allow yourself to expand and open as you breathe in. Fill the front, sides, back body with air. And then as you exhale, begin to knit and pull and draw everything back to your center line, your mid. Right? Push that breath out. Start thinking about taking really nice, light, easy inhales but more audible, powerful exhales, lots of energy with that release. Breath in, let the belly rise. When you exhale, draw the lower belly in deeply, navel pulling towards spine. So we're gonna think now of engaging our core muscles while we're breathing. Excuse me. Easy breaths in, let the core relax, lift the belly. When you exhale, push that breath out and firm up your core. Contraction of the abs. <laughs> 
Take four more rounds of breath here. Really continue to build up the relationship between breath and core. See if you can pull your abs in even deeper with every exhale that you take. Couple more rounds of breath here. Big inhales, strong, powerful, audible exhales. One more time, take a deep breath in. This time as you exhale, begin to slowly draw the knees into chest and keep your core engaged to help support your lower back as you do. Once the knees are here, just kind of wrap your arms lightly around your legs. And start to offer a little bit of movement here. And maybe you start just rocking side to side. Focus on moving with the tempo of your breath so the quality of it doesn't get lost, that you can still continue to tune into how you breathe. And then offer any other movement that feels right for you, right? So maybe it is just continuing that side to side movement. Or maybe you start to create more of a circular motion with the body, with the legs. And maybe your legs begin to move independently. Maybe you offer a little bit of a twist or a rotation. Maybe the head turns from side to side, right? Anything that your body may want or need just in the beginning here to warm up. Give yourself four more cycles of breath, which whatever movement suits you. And after that fourth round of breath, just bringing your body back to still at center. Go ahead and release your feet to the ground with your knees bent, arms rest at your side. <laughs> Take your right ankle from here, cross it over your left knee, and really drive out through the heel of your foot. Feel that energy pressing away. It's gonna give your legs some life so that you can also press that right leg away from body, just creating a little bit more space to the outer hip. This is your figure four stretch, so any variation of this that you'd like to take. Maybe you lift your left leg and hold it with your hands. <laughs> Maybe the left leg draws in a bit closer to body. Right leg is still pressing out actively. You could even offer movement here, maybe just very slowly rocking side to side. But just feel and notice the sensation to your right hip. Maybe how it's changing if you're offering that movement. Right, just exploring the body here right at the beginning. And then if you were in movement, allow yourself to come back to still at center. Let then that stretch release. We'll switch sides. Left ankle crossing over the right knee. Again, energy through heel of foot that will help to press the leg away. You can even take your hand to the inside of that left thigh to help with that as well. And then again, any variation of this figure four stretch that feels best for you. And note that it doesn't have to look the same. Right? You don't have to do the same position you did on the last side here because our bodies are in balance. So one side may, may need something different than the other. Again, movement if you prefer. Sometimes movement will allow it to kind of wrap around into the glute region as well for the stretch. And then coming back to center at still, let's go ahead and release the stretch, both feet back to the floor. Let's then take the right leg and extend it up to the sky. Hold on to the back of your right leg with both hands and really anchor your tailbone to the ground. You want that to be a place where you can root to create more stretch. Then with the right leg extended, start to push the right leg into your hands as if you're trying to press the leg away from your body first. And then fight that energy by bending your elbows and using your hands to pull that leg in a little bit closer. So you always want to create push and pull energy in the body here. Holding onto the stretch, softening the shoulders away from your ears. Keeping the back of your neck long. Breathing into the back side of your right leg. And then while holding onto the stretch, Flex your right foot, drive the heel to sky. Notice how that changes the stretch. Where is it now? 
and then point the toes very firm to sky. And again, notice the shift of sensation. We'll do that a couple more times. So heel to sky, notice, feel. Yeah, point the toes, feel. One more time, flex and pause, right? Give it a moment. And then point, pause, hold, feel. Relax the foot, release the leg. Gently bend your knee, foot back to the floor. Left leg then reaches high, holding on to the back of that leg with both hands. Anchor that tailbone in. Press leg away from body, push right into the hands. And then that pull energy by drawing the leg in a little bit closer. It's not gonna be a huge movement, right? If you're trying to get that leg in really closely, that can often start to bend the knee. We wanna create as much length to that left leg as we can. Broaden more across your chest again. Find your breath again. And then while holding the stretch, heel to sky, hold. Point toes, hold. Again, flex foot, feel it, where is it now? And then point the toes, how did it change? One last time, heel to step. Good, point the toes, relax the foot, release the leg, bend the knee, ground the foot to the floor. <laughs> From here, draw both knees into your chest and hold on to just your right knee with both hands. Then take the left leg, you're going to extend it away from the body. You could lift it as high as the sky. You could bring it as low as a hover or anywhere in between. But what we're going to do is hold the leg here. Lower to the floor will certainly be more intense. If you at any point in time need to adjust, certainly move the leg. But overall, we're just going to be in stillness. Breathe here. Notice what in your body has to be engaged, has to fire up to hold this space. My quad is engaged. My toes are pointed to keep my leg firm so it doesn't begin to sink or get limp. My lower abs are pulled in to support my lower back. Okay, let's continue to stay with leg lifted and extended. Let's also take the head, neck, and shoulders Lift them off the ground and then look down at your navel, right? Looking downward is going to keep the back of your neck long. Sometimes lifting the elbows slightly out to the sides will help pull the shoulders away from ears. If you start to feel strain in your neck, please take the head to the floor. You can always come back up again, but we never want to strain in that area. We always want to use our core for support. Keep breathing. Then take those hands, bring them back behind your head, even if your head is grounded, and actively pull the elbows back. So for me right now, um, this is challenging. My core is working hard. My leg is working hard, that extended leg. I'm also quivering already. I did a, do a workout um, yesterday, a pretty big one, so maybe that's why. But just notice in your body, what is arriving here for you? What is showing up? Take one more breath in. On your exhale, release the head and shoulders if they're up. Pull the left knee in, take your hands to your knees, and take a moment to recover. Maybe you just hold this space, right? Don't move. I'm sorry. I started to move a little bit, but keep in still. Maybe close the eyes. Where is there sensation in the body? Notice also how that sensation may dissipate just due to time and breath. Right, if the eyes are closed, go ahead and slowly open them. Left, or uh, both hands, excuse me, onto your left knee. Right leg is going to slowly stretch all the way out. And again, find a positioning of the leg that works for you. And you may not know it right away what works best. Hi, cat. <laughs> He's making quite an appearance today. But then you can adjust, you can shift depending upon. All right, so finding a space and then lifting up head, neck, shoulders, eyes on navel. Lower belly draws in and down. Maybe the elbows come out a bit to drop the shoulders, right? We don't want to scrunch our shoulders to our ears, which can often happen. Breath, deep inhales, 
strong, audible exhales. I'm feeling the length out from my hip joint all the way up through the toes. Like it's almost trying to pull away from my body to create the energy. Let's take the hands behind the head, either if head is up or grounded, right? And actively pull elbows back. When the elbows draw forward, we're then relying on our arm strength to keep the head up. We want to rely on our core strength for that. Breathe and hold. Five more seconds. Four. Three. Mm -hmm. Two. One. Good. Head and shoulders down. Knee pulls in. Hands rest on knees. Close eyes. Pause. Notice. So sometimes for humans, it's hard to go slow. It's hard to be in stillness because we're so often ready for the next thing, right? We're ready for what's to come. We're anticipating. We're very rarely in this moment. So this is a way to challenge us to be here. Let's take both feet to the floor, knees bent. Let's make sure that the knees and feet are hip bone width distance apart. That's about two fists away from each other. Arms are going to be planted close down at your sides. And when I say plant, I mean actively, right? Press arms into the ground. Feel the backs of your shoulders also press in. Dig your heels down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, squeeze the glutes. Start to peel and lift the hips up into a bridged position. Pause here and bridge. Rather than a more of a yogic bridge where the ribs may tend to pop up, we want to go more in a Pilates bridge. Seal the ribs down and in. Feel the core firming to do that. Now, let's hold this space for a moment. Okay, so arms press down, shoulders press down to help lift the hips up and keep them elevated. Our glutes are squeezing underneath us. Hamstrings are firing up. Inner thighs, right? So don't let the knees just lackadaisically just kind of wing out. We're imagining maybe we have like a block between our thighs that we were hugging onto, right? Fire up the legs, keep those heels digging down. Maybe you close the eyes here and just breathe and feel and notice what shows up here. Right now, my legs are already on fire because again, I did a workout yesterday, which was very leg predominant. And now I'm feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Maybe you are too, but that's okay, right? What happens in that discomfort? What gets stirred up? It's not always the physical. Sometimes it's the mental. Let's take one more breath in here. And then on the exhale, start to soften the ribs, round your spine, and roll back down, reconnect one vertebra at a time. And again, pause, find stillness, feel. For me, this was a nice relief. I released, I let go. There's still a little bit of sensation, but not nearly as much when I was lifted. Take a breath in, press heels and arms into the earth. Exhale, peel up again. Hug that imaginary block. If you have a block, you can certainly add one in. Hips are evenly, or even and level. Ribs are sealed down. Let's take the right leg and extend it up to the sky. Hold it there. So point the toes here. Again, live and up. Did the hips begin to sink? Maybe. So you really have to use now the strength of your left leg to press down into to lift the hips at that same level. Take one more breath in. And then exhale. Rebend the right knee. Ground the foot. Bring weight back evenly onto both sides. Take then the left leg, slowly reach it up, pointing toes again to liven that leg up. It's going to help keep the stability. Arms push down, hips lift up, really digging in, especially with that right hamstring. Good. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release by bending knee, grounding foot, rounding the spine and rolling back down onto the floor. So by elevating one leg at a time, we're bringing more, um, weight right onto that one grounded leg. Therefore, that, of course, leg has to work a little bit harder to hold it up. Oh, yes. One more time. Let's inhale. Give yourself a nice big breath in, right? Exhale. Peel up. Hips to sky. Activate in between the thighs. Squeeze the glutes. Heels down. Arms down. 
On an inhale, let's go ahead and lift that right leg up. Exhale, land here. With your next breath in, right leg, begin to lower it downward. Maybe that's just one inch or maybe it's a few or several. On the exhale, pull the leg back up slow. Move nothing else in the body here. Coming down, lengthening forward with the toes on that way down. Ooh, exhale, slow lift. Let's do that once again. Arms down, hips up. Come down with resistance on an inhale. Lift up slow on the exhale. Then bend the knee, ground the foot, redistribute weight back evenly onto both legs. So a little bit more Pilates um, derived here with that isolated controlled movement. Left leg, lift it up, point the toes. Level your hips. On an inhale, begin to lower slowly as if it were moving through molasses, right, that left leg. And then firm in the belly and lift the leg up slow. So we're not relying on momentum or swing factor. Coming down with resistance, nice and slow, reach forward with those toes. Exhale, pull slowly back up. We got one more to go. Coming down, down, downward. Exhale, find the lift. Good, re-bend the knee, ground the foot, redistribute the weight. Then roll back down, close the eyes, pause, notice. I mean, <laughs> it might just be me, I'm already sweating. I've already, there's warmth in my body, I can already feel a little perspiration coming onto just <laughs> a little bit around my nose, just by doing that there, okay. Stretch the legs out long in front of us now. Find mountain pose lying on your back. So it's as if you're standing on the ground, right? So you have to push your heels away from your body, lift your toes to the sky, and bring the inner edges of your feet into parallel, right? So that will mean that the energy is in between your thighs again, just like we had in our bridge. Arms are then going to lift up and overhead to the back of your workspace. Hands should be slightly wider than shoulder width. And again, just like in bridge two, we don't want to pop the ribs up here. We want to seal everything down and in to engage our core. On an inhale, begin lifting up your arms, head and shoulders. Start peeling up. And then when it gets really hard, push the breath out. Feel the legs press down into the earth as your heart lifts up high. A nice slow fold forward over the legs. Let your head gently fall through your arms. Plug your shoulders back into their sockets. Come up tall with your next inhale, fingertips to the sky. Round and roll down slowly. Reconnect through spinal articulation, one vertebra at a time. And then notice, did you let your legs relax? Keep them strong. Again, begin the lift on an inhale. Peel up slower than you'd like to. So again, removing momentum and focusing on muscle strength. Folding forward, keep those feet flat. Deep, juicy back body stretch. Come up again on an inhale. Scoop out the core. Continue to look straight ahead so the chin does not press down into your chest. Again, start the movement as you're inhaling. As soon as it gets hard, push out that breath. Lots of power, lots of force. Sit tall. Fold forward here. On your next breath in, just stack up and stay there. When you exhale, tuck your tailbone, roll down just a little bit, maybe just to that kind of balance point, that sacral region of spine between lower back and tailbone. Take another breath in. And then exhale, round and roll down a little bit further, maybe to like lower middle back. Take another inhale. Roll down to maybe now your middle back. Stay here, breathe it in, pull those arms back. Exhale, come down to tips of shoulder blades, looking down towards the feet, take an inhale. Exhale, come all the way onto the earth. So we kind of just broke down that roll up. We're gonna do it on the way up, a little bit more challenging folks, all right? So use that breath, take a breath in. Exhale, arms, back of head, back of neck, come up, look down towards your feet. Right, take another breath in. Force that air out, come up to tips of shoulder blades, just a little lift, you have to really pull right in the upper core section. Take another inhale. Come up to that middle back. Ooh, stay there, take a breath in. 
Come up to maybe like lower back sacral region. Stay here, breathe it in. Exhale, pull all the way up. Fold over the legs. That one is tough. Let's sit up tall with our next inhale. Let's stay seated and exhale the arms at your side. Now from here, go ahead and cross the legs, hands down to the floor in front of you. We're gonna transition to tabletop. So landing at the center of your mat with fingers spread out wide, knees underneath your hips, and then looking slightly forward to keep the spine long. As you breathe in, let the belly melt to the floor, heart and tailbone lift up. So we're arching our back here. This is a nice tummy stretch. And then on the exhale, use your core strength. Pull the lower belly in and up. Round out your back. Let the head fall through the arms. Again, inhale. Belly relaxes. Heart and tailbone shine upward. Pull the shoulder heads back just a bit here to open your chest. And then exhale. Hollow out your underbody. Push away from the ground with your hands, knees, tops of feet. One more time. Breath in. Lift, take the entire inhale to get to that space. And then on the exhale, squeeze the breath out, but take it slowly, right? Squeeze it out to the very last drop. Bring yourself back to a neutral spine. Widen your knees, take the big toes to touch, sit back onto those heels. Start to walk the hands forward as you fold over your legs. Maybe the forehead touches down. Fingers are still spread wide. Make sure the hands did not narrow at the top. We're in our child's pose, right? Child's pose generally is a resting posture and a place you can come to at any point in time during the practice. It's grounding. It can help us to reset, reboot, or rest when needed. From here, let the toes tuck under. Begin to lift your hips towards the sky as you transition to downward facing dog. So as the hips begin to elevate, feel your chest press back towards your thighs. All right, and what that will do, it, it will pull the shoulders away from your wrists. And then maybe you keep a little bend in the knees, right? For me, I like a little bend because it really gets my hips to hike up and it keeps my spine long. You could also begin to straighten out the legs and heels, right? They won't know, always necessarily touch the floor. Mine don't ever. <laughs> but energy, draw them towards the earth. And then feel this for a moment, right? Downward facing dog. <laughs> it can feel like work because it is work, right? We're working here. It is a lot of upper arm strength right? Press the heels of your hands, really earth them in and feel the weight pushing back. It's lengthening out the spine and it's stretching out the backside of the legs. Feel your ribs seal in towards your spine. Feel your core firming in this space as well, right? So there's liveliness, there's energy, there's activation in this space. With your next inhale, lift your heels up really high, right over the balls of your feet. And then exhale, glide yourself forward into plank position, top of a push-up. Hold here. You can come down to your knees for a modified version of plank. And if choosing to do that, just make sure that you didn't push the hips back, right? We don't want tabletop. We want the hips pressing forward to bring our body into a diagonal from knees through crown of head. Right. So whichever variation, legs are squeezed in, glutes are squeezed in, lower belly is in and up, so that will lift the hips and thighs away from the floor. Press out of the arms, so puff the space between shoulder blades up to sky. Look slightly forward, keep your length, and notice what's working. Everything. Everything is working to hold your body in this form. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, back into downward facing dog, start with the hips, begin to lift them up. Then feel the chest pressing back. Then feel the heels anchoring downward. Then feel the ribs sealing inward. Again, heels high on an inhale. Glide, wave forward into your plank. Feel the legs, the glutes, the core, the chest muscles. Arms, make sure the arms aren't locked firm. Softness in the elbows. Pardon me. Gaze slightly forward. 
breathe. Fire it up. Again, notice here, we're in stillness. What is coming up for you in this space? It's hard to hold plank. There's a lot going on. Take another inhale. Downward facing dog, hips high, chest back, heels down, ribs in. Once more, heels up on an inhale. Transition to plank, exhale, shoulders over, wrists. Breathe, right? Sometimes, especially when we get into challenging positions, we hold our breath. It's a tool, use it. Let it fire you up. Let it bring energy to your body. Is it uncomfortable? Probably, but that's why we're here. We're working, we're understanding what goes on in our heads and in our bodies when we get to this place, this end of comfort zone. <laughs> Take one more breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale, hips up, chest back, heels down, ribs in. All right, the pose begins when we want to leave it. Look forward on your next inhale. Walk your feet to your hands as you exhale. Take as many or as little a step as you'd like to take to come into your forward fold. Halfway lift on an inhale. So that's meaning bringing your shoulders up to hip level, open across the heart space, lengthen out through crown of head. Fold and melt over your legs on the exhale. So we're going to take everything slow today to notice, right? Breath in again. Halfway lifting. It's a flat back. Hug lightly between the shoulder blades. Don't push the chin forward. Melt it down on the exhale. For this next one, on your inhale, halfway lift. Let's take the arms and send them back behind us, keeping the arms in line with our side body. And we're going to hold this space here. So stretching the arms back really helps to keep the chest open because it's now going to activate the upper back muscles, right? Pull the shoulder heads down away from your ears and feel your shoulder blades slide down towards your uh, tailbone. So hold this base. Spread your fingers. Feel those fingers reach as far back as they can. While the heart still reaches as far forward as it can, pull the belly in and up. Support your back in the space. My knees are slightly bent because I need that for that support as well. You can certainly have a straight leg here, but again, don't lock your knees out. Keep the backs of them soft. Keep this hold, this lift. Now take the arms and sweep them out in front of you. Even more challenging, frame your ears. Breathe into this space. Again, you can bend your knees even more to help support this, right? So don't feel like you have to stay in that necessarily starting position. You can readjust to conform. But breath here, fire it up. Stay here for three more seconds. Two, one, then on your next inhale, feel the feet ground down as you stack and lift tall. Arms are now up to the sky. Interlace your fingers and take your hands behind your head as you exhale. I'm sitting so you can see me, right? On an inhale, stretch slowly over to your right side, slowly, and feel how your left side is stretching out. All right, on your exhale, pull the belly in first and then begin to lift up. Think about using strictly core strength to stack your body. Then stretch over to the left side, but feel how it's getting into the right. Uh -huh. And then on the exhale, firm it in, lift it up slow, no momentum involved. Inhale, reach the arms back up to the sky. Fold forward, exhale over your legs. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position again on the exhale. Hands ground down and you can step or even jump back to structure. Find it, right? Keep your alignment. Stay here for one more breath in. Lower the body down all the way to the floor, nice and slow with arms hugged into your sides. When you get there, untuck the toes, stretch your arms down beside you, palms facing down, and then make sure your hands, if you're on a blanket or towel or mat, take your arms just slightly out, maybe about um, uh, 20 degrees. I just made that up, but <laughs> slightly outside of your workspace, palms down. Forehead to the floor. 
On your next breath in, lift up, head, heart, arms, legs. Stretch your fingertips back towards your heels. And then float back down to the ground. So when you do this, make sure your body lifts as one unit. Nothing leads this. On an inhale, head, heart, arms, legs. All sweep up slow. Stretch back. Open across the chest. And then exhale, float, melt back down to the earth. So there's this buildup of energy and then the release of energy. Two more of these. Breath in. Peel up slow. Your whole back body is firing up here, right? Upper, middle, lower back, glutes. Float down on the exhale. One last time. Breath in. Head, heart, arms, legs. Hold this space. Just going to hold it, right? Bow pose. You can interlace your fingers behind your back and then really feel the knuckles stretch back towards your heels. Uh, that may open the chest even more so and maybe even lift your heart up a little bit higher. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Fire it up. Did you start pushing your chin forward, right? Bring it back down. It's length out through crown of head, which keeps the back of your neck long. Hold this space for three, two, one, gently release down. If your hands were clasped, let that go. Rest a cheek to the floor. Close your eyes again. Notice. When we get into these spaces of holds, of work, right, that becomes uncomfortable because we're not distracting ourselves with movement. We're being right here, right now with that stillness. And that, again, can be uncomfortable. So what do we say to ourselves in that space? What is the story that we provide? Is it, it's almost over, it's gotta be almost over. It's almost over, right? Just keep breathing. When can you just strip it all down and be there in the moment? Start to take your hands underneath your shoulders, forehead back to the ground, Un or tuck the toes under rather. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Hips are up, chest is back, heels are down, ribs are in. Mm. Take a look forward with your next inhale. Feet to hands on your exhale. You could walk, jump, or float them there. Halfway lift, maybe the arms reach back or maybe they even extend out in front of you. Fold as you exhale. On your inhale, come all the way to standing. Ground the feet. Lift, rise, arms to sky. Exhale. We're going to sit back into a chair position, but draw the arms down in front of you so they're in line with your shoulders. So to get to chair pose, bring the weight back into your heels. Push your hips to the back of your workspace. Not necessarily sinking straight down, but we want to reach back first, then find our seat. We're gonna be here, we're gonna hold it here. And this is <laughs> one of my least favorite poses to be in to hold because there's a lot working that we need to be aware of, right? It's not just our legs here in this space. Lift your heart up. The higher your heart, the more the core is gonna naturally firm in. Upper back is working. We're hugging between shoulder blades, sliding them down the back so we're not straining our shoulders to our ears. Our shoulder muscles are working by having the arms extended directly out in front of you. So firm those arms up. They're not limp or noodly. Press the knees out a little bit to activate the outer hips. But again, imagine if you had a block between your thighs that you had to squeeze onto that firm. Heart up, shoulders down, belly in, hips back. Looking slightly downward so we're not pushing the chin forward, right? The neck is the extension of the spine. What is here for you? Three more rounds of breath in this space. Keep the belly in, keep the shoulders down, keep the shoulder blades in. Maybe the toes lift off the floor. On that third round of breath, use the exhale to straighten the legs, fold and release. Halfway lift on and in. Plank position on the exhale, hands ground down and either stepping or jumping back to structure, right? This could be hands and feet. This also could be hands and knees. Squeeze glutes, belly in and up, lift out of the arms. Take one more breath in, 
Let's come down to knees on the exhale, tabletop position. From here, we're gonna roll open to a modified side plank on the right side, meaning we're rolling open to the right side of our workspace. So left hand steps to center, left heel kicks out to the side, and then we roll. And as we roll open, that right leg is gonna stretch back behind us. Take your right arm, bring it down along your side body. Now, either tent the fingers of your left hand or create a fist. Either way, push away from the floor so we're not dumping down into that left arm. Press out of it. Take the ribs on the underside, pull them up and away from the floor. Good. Flex your right foot and pull the, um, kind of roll the leg in a bit so all your toes point forward. So now the foot is slightly hovered above ground. On your inhale, take the right leg lifted up higher as the right arm lifts over shoulder. And then bring that back to starting position. So foot never grounds completely, but arm does rest on your side. Again, lift on an inhale. Push out through the heel. Exhale, bring it back down. We're working into that right outer hip. Two more, find lift of right arm, right leg. Bring it back to starting position. One more time, breath in, we'll find lift. And then bring it back to starting position. We're gonna add to this. Next inhale, right leg, right arm, lift up. Exhale, gonna pull the right leg forward, lower the right arm in front of you without moving anything else. Then extend the right leg back, out, arm back up. Again, exhale, bring leg forward, arm out in front and bring arm back up leg back out two more of those nothing else in the body is moving here we're moving very slow a lot of outer hip a lot of core here one last time leg out in front arm out in front lift arm up leg back out lower the leg and arm all the way down return to tabletop we're gonna move now to the other side. So, right hand stays grounded, but steps to center. Right heel kicks out and we roll open to the left side of our mat. Left leg stretches back behind you. And, oh, sorry, we'll start with left arm uh, lowered at our side. Mm -hmm. Flex your left foot, roll the leg in a bit so all toes point forward. And then tented fingers or fists with your right hand, push away from the ground, pull the ribs in and away. With your inhale, lift left leg and left arm up. Spread those fingers, push out through heel of foot. And then exhale, float it back down to beginning position. Arm rests, but foot does not. Lift up slow on an inhale. Bring it back down to starting position on the exhale. Two more, slow pull up. Again, we're not swinging up, we're not moving quick. We wanna rely on that muscle to do the work. Once more, breath in, find the slow lift, stack over shoulder, and then bring it back down again. Let's add to this. Inhale, now arm and leg lift again. Exhale, leg pulls forward, arm lowers down in front of you. Lift the arm back up, sweep the leg back out. Exhale, leg pulls forward, arm lowers down. Lift. Two more, arm lowers, leg pulls out in front. Don't move those hips. Bring it back up and back out. One last time, squeeze out that breath. Bring arm forward, leg forward. Lift, release, return to tabletop position. From your tabletop, take a step forward with both hands or in front of your shoulders. Keep the fingers spread, tuck the toes under. Come back to downward facing dog. Hips are up, chest is back, heels are down, ribs are in. Slow moving, just to feel, to be. Right leg on an inhale lifts back behind you. And then on the exhale, sweep the leg through, step up towards your right thumb, coming into low lunge. Pause here, back heel lifted over the ball of the foot, Back leg punching up to the sky, hips drawn up to shoulder level, lengthen out your spine, tent the fingers of your hands, push off the ground, open across your chest. 
Legs are strong, core is engaged. Inhale, rise, bring shoulders up over the hips, arms lift to the sky. Exhale, land here, drop the shoulders down, settle into the legs, high crescent lunge. Keep your fingers spread for energy. Feel your pubic bone zip up towards your navel to root your tailbone to the floor. Back leg still strong, deep lunge in the front leg. Draw the arms into a cactus position here by bending your elbows, drawing the elbows down to shoulder level. Make sure the wrists are above your elbows. So feel the press back of both arms. Take an inhale here in your high crescent lunge. On your exhale, take a small twist over to the right, starting from waistline, feeling that movement. Feel the left arm pull back a bit here. Center as you breathe in. Rotate to your left, but do not let that left hip pull back on you. Feel that hip actually push forward on you. Center on the inhale. Let's do it again. Rotation to the right, left arm pulls back. Keep your eyes at the horizon. Steady and strong, come back through center. So we're engaging our obliques here. Twist over to the left, but left hip pushes forward. Come back through center, extend the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, hands ground down, frame the front foot. Low lunge again. Take a step up, come into forward fold. Halfway lift, either arms can reach back or maybe they extend out. On your exhale, lower yourself down to a seated position. Then once seated, Come on to the back, draw the knees in, hands placed on the knees. You can take your head all the way to the floor, or if you ever want more heat, head, neck, and shoulders lift off the ground. On a breath in, we're going to take both legs, stretch them out in front of you. At the same time, reach the arms behind you, nice and slow. Exhale, sweep the arms around and draw the knees to chest. Again, lengthen out, and maybe that's just upward towards the sky, and that's okay too. Sweep the arms around, exhale, pull it all back in. Two more, anchor the spine down, firm in the belly, reach out through toes and fingertips. Sweep it in, coil into a ball. Once more, let's extend our bodies out, arms and legs, let's hold the space. Look down at your navel, breathe with purpose, five, find stillness, four, but find work, three, good, two, almost there, one, release. If your head was up, take it down, knees draw in, give yourself a hug, and maybe offer some movement here if you'd like. Maybe it's stillness that you're still wanting, and that's okay. If you are rocking side to side, now begin to rock yourself forward and back. If you were in stillness, you'll rock forward and back as well. You're gonna rock up to seated. From seated, we're gonna transition back to downward facing dog. So, hands spread wide, hips up high, chest to thighs, heels root down, ribs seal in. All right, get everything working here. Left leg on your breath in is gonna lift back behind you. Exhale, firm that belly to bring that leg up, step between the hands, low lunge. You may have to physically pick that foot up to get it there. You may have to come down to kneeling first and then step the foot up. We get there however we can, but when we land here, when we get into the space, knee should be above the ankle. Get that back heel popped up high. Get that back leg punching the sky. Hip strong up to shoulder level, flattening out the back, tented fingers, lift out of the arms, Send the heart forward and look slightly forward. Feel the legs hug into midline. Pull the belly in and then with your next inhale, rise, lift, shoulders over hips, arms to sky, frame your ears, and land here, right? There is this balance of effort and ease in our body. So what's strong and working? What though can you soften and let go of? Shoulders are a hot spot. Relax your brows, unhinge your jaw. Keeping the arms lifted, take an inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows, bring them back down to cactus, but then pull the arms back, lift up your heart, arch your back, and gaze up towards the ceiling. 
the sky, wherever he may be practicing. Right, and then seal it all back in, breath in, shoulders back over hips, extend the arms up, look forward again. So we're gonna challenge our balance a little bit just by that gaze, that shift of. Exhale, bend elbows, pull down, but also back. As your heart lifts, your back arches, and you gaze up slightly. All right, don't let that chin do the movement, let the heart do it. And then seal it all and breathe and restack, look straight ahead. We're gonna do two more of these. Exhale, spread those fingers out, Lift up your heart, hug between shoulder blades, slide them down towards your tailbone, look upward. Pull it back in, lift up the arms, look straight on. One last time, exhale, heart opener, right? Lead that heart to sky, then lift the gaze. Restack, reseal, lift and look straight on. Hands come down, frame your front foot. We're back in low lunge. Take a step up, come into forward. Fold. Halfway lift on an inhale, super close to that camera. Chair position again on the exhale, knees bend, hips push first back, then sit down, arms swept out in front of you, palms facing down, belly in and up, heart lifted. Looking slightly downward, keep the back of your neck long, knees push out, legs hug in, everything's working. If you want a little bit more heat, Pull the arms up further to frame your ears. We're gonna be here though again, one last time for today's practice, right? So this physical discomfort that can take hold in this space can manifest into a mental, emotional discomfort, right? We get stirred up, we get agitated, and physically we can only take that for so long before it starts to shift. We try to, we try to distract, right? We try to displace all this. Just be with discomfort, because that is when sometimes the real work begins. What do we find out about ourselves in uncomfortable spaces? How we react, how we resolve perhaps, and how we can still be kind to ourselves in this space. Three more cycles of breath. Use it, keep you here, find your focus. And then after that third round of breath, straighten the legs, gently fold forward over them. Take your feet out a little bit wider, maybe about shoulder width apart. Come into ragdoll here. So you're going to grab your elbows with opposite hands, right? You're folded forward here. And you're gonna let everything hang, upper body, right? Hangs over the legs. Right, get really close, fold it in, and maybe you have to bend your knees to find that. Maybe you bend your knees so deeply that your belly just drapes over the thighs. Let your shoulders fall down to your ears. Movement here, if you'd like, maybe a gentle sway side to side. Maybe it's bending the knees, straightening out the legs, or a stillness. Keep your sits bones lifted to the sky. Feel the stretch in the back side of your legs. Let the shoulders release. You get that relaxation. And then if you were in movement of sorts, coming back to still nice and naturally. Release your elbows, fingertips to the earth. Heel toe the feet back in so they're only about hip width apart. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Come down slow to seated as you exhale. Coming back to the center of your workspace. And then as you sit down, rock back to balance point, lift your ankles up in line with your knees, clasp behind the knees, pull the belly in and up to pull the shoulder heads back, and then release the hands to extend arms out. This is your high boat. Breath in, we're gonna come down to your version of low boat. That could be a little bit of movement or a lot bit of movement. Bring it back up on the exhale. It helps to gaze towards the ceiling to keep your back flat, which is what we want. Come down to your version of low boat. Exhale, pull it up to high boat. Use your core strength here. Four more, coming back, breath in. Squeeze it out. Let the heart do the movement, not the shoulders, right? We don't wanna cave in. Three more, coming down to a version of low boat. Exhale up to high. You can even still clasp behind the legs for some support here. Two more, come back to low boat. Exhale up to high boat, and I'm sure you can guess on this last one. Find your low boat, we're gonna hold this low boat. Breathe, all right? Firm up your legs, hug between shoulder blades, pull that belly in, keep the arms lively. Five, 
four, three, steady breath, two, one, draw the knees in, let your head come down, recover, okay? <clears throat> so on your back here, keep the knees drawn in, open your arms out to T or cactus your arms if needed. Lower your legs over to the right as you look over left shoulder for a simple twist. Slowly transition to your other side, legs to left, looking over right shoulder. Keep both shoulders pressed down. Let the legs settle. And then take one more breath in. Exhale, legs through center, head through center, hands on your knees. Begin to rock yourself forward and back, up and down the spine until you've rocked up to seated. Okay. We're gonna land in the seated space with sits bones ground into the earth, heart lifted up high, shoulders over the hips, reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling, arms either resting beside you or on your lap, but palms faced up, eyes are closed. Teeth are slightly parted here. We're just taking a few moments to be in stillness with our breath. Again, another still space, but perhaps a little bit more of a calming one, or maybe not. Maybe to be in stillness with nothing else going on might be the most challenging thing for you. In the past, it has been for me. Find the inhale, find the exhale. Anchor yourself to either breath or sound to keep yourself present in the moment. And as you stay with yourself here, with these brief moments, begin to slowly take one hand to heart, one hand to belly. And then physically feel the breath, the belly and chest moving. Maybe you feel the beating of your own heart. As you connect to yourself here, also take this moment to say thank you for showing up, for being in the moment, for giving your body opportunity of breath, movement, but also stillness. Allow yourself to get uncomfortable, but to learn from it, to understand it. Because life does begin at the end of our comfort zone. Take now both hands together at heart center. Bring the chin down to chest, bow head to heart, heart to head. It's another glorious day, another day where we can just be. We are here, we are alive and it's another opportunity. Thank you guys very much for joining me this morning or afternoon for Facebook Live Fusion Flow. I hope to see everyone again very soon. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and here's to yet another week. Namaste.